Hi, I'm Bill Selick. I'm going to walk you through the fifth NCTM strand, data analysis and probability. Of the five strands, this is the fifth and final one. There are four standards within the data analysis and probability strand. They're kind of lengthy, so we'll just refer to them uh, by the first couple of words. Let's take a look at the first standard, formulating questions when we're dealing with data. The most important thing you can do is actually make it relevant to your students. So in this photo, it's what we did every morning on our carpet in kindergarten. They decided if they needed a lunch with chocolate milk, a lunch with white milk, or if they had a lunch. Really just make it about anything they like, anything they care about, anything that can be related to them. So you can ask them, instead of just pulling something out of the book or deciding, I'm going to talk about this, have them graph their favorite something. When you're making these graphs, there's three types of graphs. This is pretty important. When you make a graph, if you're doing, let's say, an apple graph, you want to make a graph with actual apples. So you would buy red apples, green apples, and yellow apples, and actually make a graph. Let each student grab one and put it in the correct column. After that, you might take the die cuts, cut out a bunch of red paper, apples, green, and yellow. And then you do the same thing again, and they're going to probably pick the same fruit, maybe not, and graph their favorite colored apple. So it went from an actual apple to a picture of an apple, and then just maybe something abstract that said red, or it might be just a red rectangle piece of paper. So those are the three steps you want to do when you're introducing students to, uh, to graphing. Now I know this looks like it's going to be algebra, but when we talk about it in the context of data and talking about data, if we're seeing, all right, what do we have the most of? Let's sort these M&Ms by color. Let's sort whatever by color. And then we can look at that and talk about quantities. A lot of people will wonder, all right, that, this sounds great, but if you're in kindergarten, we just have to go straight out of the textbook. It's hard to kind of work this in and be creative and, uh, and cutesy like you would expect in a kindergarten classroom. But with something like this, if you're talking about graphing your favorite type of fish, start off by having the kids draw their favorite fish. Then we take all of that and analyze that data. Start to ask questions about, all right, let's look at that. It looks like the clownfish was the most popular type of fish. So you start off kind of as a craft, as a cutesy thing, and then work it into data analysis and probability. Or if you're just doing something for fun, take that and take whatever they did and turn it into, hey, let's look at this data, let's talk about this and build a, a quick graph out of it. And really, that's, that's the first standard. It's pretty straightforward. All of these are, are pretty straightforward uh, because this strand is broken down into so many details. Here's what using statistical, the appropriate statistical methods in primary looks like. It's about giving them context. So if you look at that, if we talk about it in a more mathematical term, with that data, that picture, you don't know what that is. There's no context with it. But if you give students context, then something like this is slowly going to become oh okay now I know what that is so take that idea and always make sure your students can literally see the big picture of what's going on uh, if they have that context if they can see the big picture and see how's the data they have or whatever they have uh, how that fits into the bigger picture then they're going to be significantly more successful. And really, that's, that's the second standard. It's just about context. The third standard for data analysis and probability is being able to make predictions based on your data. So if you went around the classroom and said, what would you prefer, a carrot or an M&M? And you asked 10 kids. Nine of them said M&Ms. And one kid said, I want a carrot. All right, let's ask not what do you want, but what do you think the next student is going to pick? Nine people picked M&Ms, one person picked a carrot. What this third standard is, is being able to say, I think the next person is going to pick M&Ms because most people are picking M&Ms. Looking at the experience that you already have, looking at the data you've already collected, and then being able to apply that and come up with it, that correct answer. And finally, our fourth standard is being able to apply basic concepts of probability. This is surprisingly difficult for students, but if you just take eight rocks and one little stuffed animal, throw it into a bag, 
and this is at this point I'm describing you know second grade standard what are we probably going to get one of these rocks or are we going to pick the stuffed animal students might look at it and say well there's more rocks so probably more rocks or they might like stuffed animals so they would pick stuffed animals so if you did it five times you probably are going to get five rocks so it's being able to to look at just basic concepts of probability it might be spinning a wheel and seeing you know where the wheel lands or where the little arrow lands that you're spinning if you have a circle that's divided into fourths and half the circle is red before you know it after the tenth time most students are going to start picking red because it's more probable that they would have red as the answer and that's the final one data data analysis and probability is um, a, a pretty straightforward strand so those are the four standards they slowly build on top of each other and uh, that's data analysis and probability